hello guys so today we are solving this problem permutation in a string so this is one of the important question which might be in the top companies interview with different variants so uh, let's read the question so given two string s1 and s2 so return true if s2 contains a permutation of s1 or false otherwise so in other words return true if one of the s1's permutation is the substring of s2 so basically what we have to do is suppose this is our uh, s2 okay and this is our s1 so what we have to do there could be any permutation of s1 okay it could be like in this case a b or b a right so any permutation of the is uh, of the string s1 is somewhere residing inside s2 as a substring then we have to return true for example see here this is a b right but it's one of the permutation is b a and b a is residing at here so we can say that yes it exists there so we can return true in this case if let's say it was a b c right if s1 was a b c then there was no possibility so we have to return the uh, false he here so uh, let's go for more details about different scenarios so uh, to solve this problem so guys uh, you can see this is one of the example so s1 is a b c d a and s2 is a b c d okay so as we know that permutation the length of permutation of any string would be or uh, equal to the same uh, string right so any permutation uh, of this string would be of length 5 right so this is 5 and this is 5 but this guy has length 4 only so there would be no possibility of any uh, permutation of this string which can be found here right so first of all we have to get the length of string as uh, uh, s1 and the length of string s2 so let's say n1 and n2 are the length so in any case if n1 is greater than n2 then there would be never a possibility uh, that we can find a permutation in s2 so we should immediately return here what we have to return false directly okay return f if we are finding this condition also if we are finding one more condition that if n1 equal to 0 okay means the s1 is null so in that case we can directly say that any null string is always a substring of uh, any string right so in case of n1 is equal to 0 means this guy is null s1 is null then we can return directly true so these are few uh, boundary conditions that we have to immediately check okay so this is uh, first two things that we have to first of all check get the length of both of them look for this condition also look for this condition after doing this then we will go for our generic solution so there could be multiple solutions guys so there could be first of all let's think about a brute force solution so brute force solution would be like if we generate all the substring of this guy right if we generate all the substrings okay then uh, and then we have to check whether this substring is something uh, which is the permutation of this string right so that is also one way but generating all the substrings it takes n square right so we don't want this kind of uh, solution so brute force is good we should know but we are not supposed to do this in interviews and also on any platform right so we should think about a different approach so i'm basically removing this is one of the simplest example so i'm removing we'll take the better example for different different cases okay so uh, let's take a different example here so let's say we are taking s1 as hello and s2 is okay hello z okay now we have to look for the solution so you guys can see here n1 is uh, 5 only right so n1 is equal to 5 and n2 equal to and n2 equal to 9 these are the length so anyway n1 is not greater than n2 so we are not going to that condition so we are past here that n1 is basically smaller than n2 okay so not a problem we have to proceed ahead also n1 is not equal to 0 so we have to proceed ahead because we are not trapping here in any of these uh, conditions okay so what to do then so as you can understand that uh, uh, these uh, permutations would be of length 5 only doesn't matter what permutation it has so what we have to do in this bigger string we have to run a window of uh, length 5 okay like we can start a window from here then from here then there would be a condition where we will find uh, a case of like uh, this starting from here then there would be a window where our condition would be fulfilled like this we are starting from here until five characters this would be ending here 
so there would be a case when we are traversing through this window size i mean at this window start and end in that case we can find that this sub string is basically one of the permutation of this string doesn't matter if it is hello or our or its a string uh, uh, characters could be in a different order as well not a problem but their frequency should be same so now you can say that we have found at here uh, which is actually the permutation of this string right this gives an intuition for us to solve it uh, with this windows uh, sliding window uh, approach so bro at any point of time whatever is the length of this guy n1 we have to take a window size of this n1 okay and we have to traverse through this s2 right so we have to basically count the number or uh, frequency of the characters right and it's given in the question that all the characters are on the lower case only so we can have the two or uh, we can have two integer array of size 26 right because we know there are characters equal to 26 so i am taking a equal to uh, so see here we have i have created the two integer array a and b okay both of size 26 because we are dealing with the frequencies of the characters right and we have the 26 characters only so uh, let's say we have another variable called frequency okay which is initially uh, say zero okay now our task is to we will traverse through this uh, size of window and we'll look for the frequencies that what is the current status of the frequencies okay so what we will do is we will uh, starting from this uh, first of all what we will do we will start from this uh, string s1 okay and we will uh, update this uh, whatever length of it similar length we will start for second array to park the frequency of this value okay so let's dry run of it so as you can see here i have created two uh, integer array a and b of 26 size right these are the uh, indexes and these are the corresponding character what they are indicating so we are traversing through first this s1 okay so see here we are going through here so i equal to 0 till whatever is length of it so we will go for i equal to 0 first so this is 0 so what is value here at 0 this is h okay so we will go to h so we will increase this by 1 so this will become 1 right because initially it is 0 and what is at here at very first location it is o so we will go to o in the second array so we will increase this guy at here okay now we will go to the second value of it i equal to 2 right so this is e here so we will go to e will increase it by 1 and we'll go here also uh, what is the second value here here it is k so we will go to the k of this array we will increase it by 1 and similarly we will go for l third one is l here so in this one we will increase this by val value 1 okay and uh, we will come here this is h so in second array we will go for h we'll increase it by 1 and same way we will keep on going so we will go for next character this is again l so we will increase it by 1 or oh, where is l oh, yeah so this will increase so 1 plus 1 it will become now 2 okay so i have made it 2 now we will go for this guy this is here e right so we will go here for e so what is the e e is here initially empty so we will make it 1 similarly we are coming here this is last guy which is o so where is o o we have to increase it by 1 we will come here this is l here we will go to the l uh, uh, of this guy so where is the l so l would be here we will increase it by 1 so so far we are done with the traversal of first string s1 okay now what we will do we will create an integer variable called frequency okay now we will check what alls are equal in this way right so we will check for all those characters this is not not equal not equal not equal but see e and e is equal in both this array so we can make frequency now one okay now we will again traversal no 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 yeah but h is equal so we will make frequency equal to two because two matching now we added just one here now we'll go again again see here this k is empty but this k is one so they are not equal so we will not do anything in this frequency now we will come here l so here l came two times but this came one time so they are also uh, total frequency is not equal so we will still go keep on uh, going ahead so see here this is o and this also came one time this also came one time so frequency plus one so it would become frequency three okay nothing else uh, is uh, equal now so you can say here the frequency three is uh, equal 
okay so we can also say if we uh, or other way what we can do is we can start from here okay from very start okay we will look for see everything is same except this guy k and l frequency right because k came here zero time but it is one time and two came uh, or two times l came two times and this came one time so except k and l all the frequencies the nulls are also equal right because zero value is there and either they have one or null except this k and l so what we can say here total 24 characters are same in this so uh, in these two variables two two arrays 24 are same right except this k and l right rest all are same right either null or one so we can say that right now frequency is 24 but if this frequency was 26 that means everything was matching here let's say we had a this hello and the string was something like hello g only okay so in this case what would happen let's say it was hello g for a moment consider if this was only hello g in that case what would happen this frequency would be 26 itself so in this case what we would have done we would have written directly true here because we found a permutation okay so i am covering this case as well but because we don't have this case so this is not the case right now we have frequency equal to 24 only okay so let's remove this assumption case so as of now our frequency is only 24 that means we have to further look in our s2 we still haven't found anything okay so guys as of now we have found the frequency equal to 24 now what we have to do is our next task is we are done with the hello right that whatever frequency was there we recorded in both of them now we are going to this string because still we haven't found frequency equal to 26 now what we will do is we will start on this string but you guys know this is of five five characters length right so we have to keep on traversing only up to the five things right five characters so we can start from here and uh, in this case uh, if our start point is here we can go up to five okay so this will go till here similarly wherever we are starting if we are starting here then it would end here like this right so we have to stop it till the length 5 so we can our last start point would be here right because from here onwards it is of uh, 5 lengths right to yeah so 3 to 5 so this would be our last start point because we have to keep it off the length 5 okay so this should be our range so we can say let's say that uh, start if let's say i is the start point then i can go i can go starting from 0 till i uh, i can go from starting from 0 till n2 minus n1 right n2 minus n1 for same reason that we just discussed so this would be our range to traverse for our i okay i hope you should be very clear here because we are taking only in this case for example we are taking of the five lengths so this would be our last start point so that is why i have starting from zero till i less than equal less than uh, n2 minus n1 okay this would be our start point range so now we have two variables okay left and right okay so left would be uh, uh, having the value sitting at the index i which is our start point okay so this will look for the value in the s2 at i okay s2 dot caret i another variable called right and this guy would look for the end character okay because we are not we are not comparing each and every one whatever we are removing or adding only those values we have to compare so left equal to the very first character value and right equal to the very last character value okay so this would be something like this yeah so integer variable right equal to basically i plus what i plus n1 right because we are looking for the last uh, value of this range so i plus n1 minus a because we are getting the uh, integral value okay so that is why i am uh, doing deducting of character a so this will left would be have the leftmost value uh, integer value or right would be have rightmost integer value right so now we will proceed here so initially our i is equal to zero here because we are starting from this point okay so what it would be what would be the left value so left value would be what is there it is o right so left value would be o which is basically equal to 14 okay so left is 14 and our right is in this case what 
so right would be oh, 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 this guy this guy l right so what is the l l is 11 okay so initially what we got or uh, left is 14 and the right is 11 okay guys so this is our left and uh, this is our right okay so o and l means this is 14 and uh, this is our 11 you can see here l okay so 14 and l now what we will do is first of all because we are here to remove the left side and increasing the right side because we are checking all of them right so let's first increase it okay or you can left or right any one of them so we have to anyway right we have to increase because we are increasing into the right side and left we have to remove right so because so far we have already uh, compared hello and uh, first five characters of this right so that means if we haven't matched because our we got 24 so that is why we have to remove the leftmost character and add a rightmost so for that reason we just calculated this thing now what we will do is we will remove this guy so removing means de decreasing the frequency okay so uh, so this is 14 right so what we will do is at left what is there in the b right because anyway we have now we have to operate with b only so this is 14 so what is there at 14 so if we go to 14 14 it is frequency 1 right so what we will do we will uh, go to the uh, we have to le left left this guy so we have to do the whatever is sitting at 14 because this is a left guy so left pointer we have to remove so this is 14 at it is 1 right now so if we are removing it that means its frequency should be decreased and if it is decreased that means it has to become 1 minus 1 so which is 0 so now new value at here is 0 okay now we'll go to the right pointer so right has value 11 so we're gonna add this 11 right so what is there so guys you can clearly visualize initially our i equal to 0 right so uh, this is our o right so this is giving us 14 here so what would be the right right is equal to 0 plus n1 which is 5 right so we have to go here this is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is the right vendor value so what it would give it would give us so uh, this 11 so at 11 we have to check so what is there at 11 so at 11 we have in the b it is 1 only but because we are adding a new value so we have to increase whatever it is so it would become now 2 in the b okay so now it has become 2 so now what we have done is we have decreased the value sitting at left and we have increased the value sitting at right now after doing this we will check whether uh, what happens after making this change okay so see at 11 so this is our 11 so see here this is 2 and this also 2 means a new matching we found correct so if we have now if we have found the matching after doing this correction that means we have to increase our frequency by one so now you guys can have observe that due to increment of 11 we found at 11 the frequency is matching so our frequency would become now 25 okay but we are looking for the decrement as well so we removed this left guy right so at 14 what we did at 14 we decrease the value so this is one basically and here it becomes zero that means this is a mismatch that means we have to decrease this guy again right so it become again 24 so anyway we found a match but we found a mismatch as well so effectively it again became 24 right so similar way we will go for the next value of i okay so now next value would be i equal to 1 that means we are starting at here i equal to 1 then end would be next guy okay because we have to maintain the size 5 so our end means our our this right guy would be here now here right so that things would be of size 5 only so oh, 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 okay 3 to 5 so here it would be somewhere right so 1 2 3 4 5 this would be here so guys see here this time our left is k right so k is nothing but k equal to 10 so this would be our new value would be 10 okay and what would be right value so right is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 so right is 
so this is so one right so one plus five so it would go to six right so this guy is one which we have to basically add so what is the value of o value of o is 14 so this time this guy is 14 okay now see here we have to deduct this 10 the guy is sitting at 10 we have to deduct by one so let's go here so this is 10 right so we have to deduct this guy by one so this will become zero and we have to go here at 14 we have to uh, increase this guy by one so let's go to 14 and this time we have to make this zero equal to one right so instead of zero we have to make one okay i'm uh, just cutting it like this now we will check for it so where did we change we did at 10 and 14 so look at 10 and 14 what is happening so see here at 10 this is zero means empty is a zero only so this is zero and this guy is also zero at 10 right so we are fine that we got one match that means our new value would become here what it would become 25 24 plus 1 so it would become 25 okay and we did the increment at this guy 14 so let's go for 14 what is there at 14 it is 1 here and here also 1 that means we found another match so now what we can do we have to increase this guy 26 and every time whenever doing any updation we are checking that hey is this equal to 26 yeah we found a 26 that means we found a match and if we found a match what we have to do we have to return true bro mm -hmm. so this is part of our algorithm is and we are not doing the comparison of every character of 26 we are just going removing left and adding the right one so we found a 26 and now you can even also uh, visualize it that when we removed k and when we added this guy o we found basically hello here right we found this hello which is matching with the frequencies of a and a has the frequencies of our original string okay so now we can say that in this way whenever we found this equal to 26 that means break and return true okay and one more case is let's say there was no matching suppose this was like a h e l h like this so in this case what would happen we will keep on going but this frequency would never become 26 right and reaching till the end we would be found that uh, we will come out of this loop and we would check that hey this frequency is 26 but it wouldn't be 26 so we would have written uh, false in this case so this is what we have to do i will show you my corresponding code for it so guys one important thing is if you guys gonna appear for the top companies interview they want these kind of best solution okay uh, it's not a matter of just accepting a solution here on lead code but it's matter of to face the interview so we can we could have done this question uh, even after comparing all the 26 character every time but that wouldn't be the best solution because we just cannot uh, uh, do the higher uh, time complexity so we should look for this kind of approach now let's me let me express uh, what is my uh, code here so this is a simple n1 and n2 i got i'm checking here if it is n1 is greater than n2 returning false if n1 is zero then returning true then these are the two uh, two integer variables just we were using in the diagram so i created them now so see here first of all i'm looping uh, here i'm looping through the uh, first of all he, here i'm looping through the first uh, our s1 our s1 thing this length n1 times okay so we are increasing the frequency sitting at S1 in A and sitting at S2 in B for starting a 0 till N minus, uh, N1 okay for the first string right we did initially we did for this string we did the frequencies count so same uh, same step I am doing here and then I am creating this frequency variable and see here what I am doing uh, initially when we calculated them we are checking that hey what is the frequency so in this case if frequency becomes 26 that also could be a possibility like if we were starting with hello and hello g right hello and hello g so right after the first loop itself we would get frequency equal to 26 in this case because we would run this these many number of times so uh, to handle this kind of situation we have to uh, find the frequency uh, with the uh, very first uh, string length okay now see here when we are coming from the top of it we are checking here if frequency is equal to 26 we are returning true because even we might have a frequency uh, in the first loop itself like hello and hello g case okay so we are checking here otherwise what we are doing we are taking the left and right okay so left means uh, we are starting at i 
right so this is the one where at the start point so that is why s2 dot caret i but right is the one which is at the length last character means in case of if i equal to one let's say okay if i equal to one then the left would be sitting at i and the right would be at i plus five like in this case hello case so i plus n whatever the length of first guy i plus n one so this is the character which is sitting uh, in in the pointer right okay so we are getting this is the this is the character left is the one which we have to remove and right is the one which we have to add now what we are doing see here first of all i am adding the right one just we were doing here right uh, like, like this we got the 11 and we increase it in this b okay similarly we got the whatever it is in the left and we were decreasing in this b itself okay so same step i am doing here so see here after uh, increasing at right pointer i am checking that if a right and b right equal to same after doing this frequency if they are same that means we have to increase the frequency by one otherwise if they are not same we have to increase the decrease the frequency by one similarly at this step what i am doing is i am uh, i am decreasing the frequency at left pointer which we are removing the character and then we are checking that if after doing the operation if frequencies are same that means we have to increase the frequency if they are not same then we have to remove it why i am doing here minus one because we have did a decreasement operation so it would have definitely decrease it similarly here i have used plus one because we are doing a increment operation so definitely it would have uh, become by uh, increased by one okay so this is uh, for uh, when things are not equal so after doing this what we are doing is we are going back to this for loop right and every time we are checking that hey is there any point where we found that frequency equal to 26 if we found we are returning here itself adds true if uh, at the last point if we are coming out of this loop we are going down and uh, finally what we are returning we are returning frequency equal to equal to 26 so if it is equal to 26 that it will return true otherwise it would be automatically false so let me execute my code yeah it is accepted uh, let me try to submit it yeah so it is accepted with uh, almost 90 percent faster for so thank you for watching this video if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there thank you